Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of testicular torsion. A 27 year old male patient came with severe left hemiscrotal pain for around 10 days. The scrotum was getting swollen gradually. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the still picture of the right hemiscrotum containing a normal right testis and part of epididymis. The scrotal skin is quite normal here. On the left image you can see the longitudinal section and on the right image on transverse section you can see there is an asymmetry between two testes. You see the left hemiscrotal skin is quite thickened. There is mild collection here also. The glimpse of left testicular parenchyma shows inhomogeneous pattern. So let's jump into the left testis. It is solen, hypoechoic, heterogeneous and the shape is quite rounded or globular. The skin is thickened. Let's see on real time. Here is the left testis. You see it is inhomogeneous, containing some heterogeneous irregular areas within, indicating the areas of necrosis or maslation. The part of epididymis looks quite brighter than its normal ecogenicity. This appearance of fat stranding is quite suspicious. You see, at this area, the vessels are looking like twisted even in grayscale. These features go in favor of testicular torsion. Mild peritesticular fluid is also seen. This type of necrotic zones are feature of subacute variety of testicular torsion. Now we need to use the color Doppler to exclude maslation and to detect the stage of torsion. Here's the still picture and you can see the necrosed areas within the solen hypoechoic left testis. Mild peritesticular collection is also seen here. Here is another view. You can see the area of necrosis mimicking maslations, and at the upper part, you can see some laminated ecogenic mass here, which might be the area of twisting. Here is a color Doppler image, and you can see increased vascularity at the spermatic cord level. But when we jumped into the testes, you can't see any vascularity within the parenchyma except for these necrosed areas which are showing very good amount of flow within. You can see the peritesticular flow is increased but no flow within the testicular parenchyma. So the necrosed areas with increased peritesticular flow goes in favor of late subacute variety of testicular torsion. Here is another image. You can see the right testis shows regular normal vascularity and with same setting you can see increased flow within the spermatic cord and prominent flow within the necrosed area. Now that took out attention about the necrosed areas that why it is getting more vascularity. We want to check some sample from these vascular parts. Here is another image. You still can see the peripheral prominent vascularity and increased vascularity within the necrosed area. But there is no flow within the rest of the testicular parenchyma. This necrosed area is getting supply from the collateral vessels. If you check on pulse wave Doppler, you will see these areas are getting supply from differential or cremasteric arteries which can be easily understandable by its poor diastolic component. We have checked sample from the vascular flow of the necrosed area and you can see a high resistant flow trying to supply this area. It is more than 0.75 that is 0.87 which is a common flow pattern in case of testicular torsion. So this is the flow coming from collaterals to this inflammatory area. Here is the picture of the upper pole of the testis at the spermatic cord level where you can see the increased vascularity within this area with ecogenic thick fat layer. Here is another image where you can see the vessels are getting twisted at this point. So this area took our attention which we want to focus a little more on real time. Here is the transverse section image of the upper pole of the testis where you can see a laminated ecogenic mass with concentric layering just cephalate to left testis. It represents the coiled spermatic cord components forming the whirlpool sign. In easy language, this is the area of torsion.
on color Doppler you see this laminated mass is showing twisting or whirling so if you find the testicular torsion don't forget to check the upper pole of the testis in transverse section to see this wear pull sign Here is the image of the laminated mass forming the whirlpool sign in grayscale and color Doppler images. Here is another picture on transverse and longitudinal section with color Doppler and you can see this whirlpool sign here on the left image and in long section you can see the vessels are going twisted here. We have checked the sample from the twisted area. You see there is increased vascularity at this point with 31 cm per second of peak systolic velocity. You see some diastolic component here but the resistance is very high with 0.9 of resistive index. So in summary a swollen left testis with inhomogeneously hypoechoic parenchyma is seen. There are multiple irregular heterogeneous areas within the left testicular parenchyma. Color Doppler shows high impedance flow within the heterogeneous areas but no detectable flow within the rest of the parenchyma and prominent peritesticular flow. A laminated mass is seen with concentric layering just cephalate to the left testis representing the coiled spermatic cord components forming the wipple sign with twisting or whirling on color Doppler. There is also left-sided mild reactionary hydrocele and thickening of the left hemiscotal skin. The right testis and epididymis is still showing normal sonographic features. So this features concluded as a case of left-sided late subacute testicular torsion. Now the take-home message. You may get some cases of incomplete testicular torsion where you will see intertesticular vascularity on color Doppler that will make you confused. In these cases, an increase in arterial resistive index of more than 0.75 and absence of intertesticular venous flow may help confirm testicular torsion. Now before ending, we will get a very short talk on testicular torsion as you have already got confused with the late subacute term. Usually we have four different stages of testicular torsion to detect on ultrasound, acute, early subacute, late subacute and chronic phases. The acute phase denotes less than 6 hours of torsion where you may get normal ultrasound findings or you may see enlarged hypoechoic testis and epididymis with diminished or absent flow within the parenchyma. The scrotal wall may get thickened, there might be mild reactionary hydrocele present and usually it will show normal peritesticular flow. If the patient comes within 1 to 4 days, this is called the early subacute phase where you will get the features of necrosis. The acute findings will be more obvious here. You will get multiple anechoic areas of liquefactive necrosis within the testicular parenchyma or there might be hypoechoic mass of hemorrhage. The late subacute phase denotes time duration between 5 and 10 days where you will get progressive decrease of the early subacute phase findings and the peritesticular flow will get increased which we have found today. And in case of chronic stays, what we say more than 10 days old testicular torsion, you may get normalization of the findings. The testis will gradually become smaller with decreased echogenicity. There might be persistent epididymal enlargement and increased echogenicity. The peritesticular flow may become normal again. We have already uploaded a few cases of testicular torsion in our YouTube channel. So if you want to see more cases, then don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and obviously follow us on other social platforms. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.